Happy Jay. Yes, it's a Christmas tree behind me <laughs> in September. Today is like, it's the 7th. September the 7th. Alrighty, so, that reminds me, somebody's, I got birthdays tomorrow. Okay, so, I'm going to show you a Hobby Lobby haul. Here's the black um, bulbs. They are $9.99, and they are 40% off. That makes them like five something. I got the um, white and black uh, tool. It was on sale last week for 50% off, and I didn't realize I was going to need so much of it, or I bought it then. Um, picked up this ribbon and this ribbon. And I'm going to use all this stuff to make the Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas tree. That I will show to you whenever I get it finished. I picked up felt. Um, I got the um, hangers. They are a dollar ninety nine, and they are forty percent off. So I got the swirly kind. That's my favorite. Um, but then I got just these silver ones because I'm helping my friend do their tree, and they are Ravenclaw. Or Gryffindor. They're Ravenclaw house, so they're going to um, do a blue and silver Christmas. I know that Ravenclaw in the book is blue and bronze, but um, we're doing blue and silver because it's like way more prettier. Um, so pick these up. <clears throat> we're going to do Sally and Jack on um, these wreaths right here. They're, that's going to be their head. The rest of it's just going to be decorated. Uh, I'll show you that. Um, and then I'm going to make the quaffle. I'm going to indent this and make the quaffle um, for the Harry Potter tree. And I'll paint it brown. And then I'm going to... Um, I'm going to make both of us a quaffle for our tree. And then I'm going to go ahead and do... Um, these two are going to be small uh, golden snitches that I'm going to put on here. Um, that way we have those. So we'll have the quaffles and the golden snitch. And I am forgetting a ball. There's the quaffle, the golden snitch, and then... I can't remember what the other one is. I guess because I don't pay attention enough to that. Because I only care about the snitch. So the golden snitch. So I'm going to paint these, spray paint these gold. These two foam balls. And then this one's going to stay white for Jack. And then I'm going to paint this one blue for Sally. And these ones here uh, will be brown because it'll be quaffles. Um, so I'm going to have to indent those and make those quaffles. And then these two down here, I'll figure out what that other ball is and then I'll make that one. Or I may just go ahead and make some more jacks. I don't know. I will let you know when I know what I'm doing. Okay, so I have um, the fleece is 50% off right now. And so um, I have the white fleece and I have... I needed the black for um, Jack's, I would say it's his like bat thing that goes by his neck. I don't know. Uh, so I have um, white and then I have the yellow, the blue, and the purple to make um, Sally's clothes which will be on the wreath. And then I had to get black pipe cleaners because the Dollar Tree is completely out of black. So I got the black pipe cleaners, and you can cut these in half if you need to. But I'm going to use these on my Nightmare Before Christmas tree. And then this is in the Christmas department, so it's 40% off. And it's... <coughs> sorry. It's um, 30 feet. If I have to, I'll cut it in half. But I'm going to use this on the tree. The tree is going to be black and white everywhere. Okay, so picked up the white balls. Make sure when you pick these up, you pay attention because they have the white and the shiny whitish silver ones side by side. So if you're not looking closely, you're going to end up with like a silverish white. And I want it just white, white. So this is going to be Jack. I'll be making him. And then I have 
some gold. And then I have my blue here for Sally to make her face. Okay, and then I have these picks. Um, the paint's not on sale. The picks are 40% off because it's Christmas. I'm going to use a mixture between these white picks and these um, black picks to come out of the Nightmare Before Christmas tree. And the uh, so I'm going to like use these in different places. I think it'd be really cool looking myself. So I have these. I bought a lot of those. And then I will show you uh, when I go to make my wreath, I will show it to you so you'll know what it looks like. And the last piece I want to show you from Hobby Lobby. One second. I will show it to you. Yeah, I asked the lady, I said, do you carry um, anything Harry Potter that you like? No, because it's a Christian store. And it has me kind of stumped for a minute because I'm a Christian and I like Harry Potter. So I don't understand the whole, oh, because I'm a Christian and that's what's like Harry Potter. Um, I guess if you want to take that stuff literally serious, I mean, then you really got a problem. That's just my opinion. We're all entitled to one. Okay, so the tree is black and, black and white, of course, because it's never for Christmas. And Tim Burton is like, really cool and he does the neatest stuff well I wanted something for the tree to sit on that wasn't just like the floor or like just I don't know I wanted something really cool and I happened to walk by and see that the rugs were 50% um, off I see this rug tell me that in some way doesn't make you think of Tim Burton I mean come on so there's the rug it was $14.99, so 15 bucks. There was one left. I wish I would have gotten it because now that I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, I really wanted one of these because I was going to make another, make two of those trees, but it don't matter. I'm good. So, anyways, um, this is going to look really cool when the tree is actually sitting on it and help with the black and white, and it will give something for the tree to sit on, um, like a skirt, but it's not going to be one. And then I'm going to try to have my husband make the door where it has the, um, I mean like a, probably about that big of a door and that way we can put the pumpkin on it and have you going into the door for the Nightmare Before Christmas and put it on the floor in front of the tree. And I'm looking to see if there's a Tim Burton train. I know there's a Polar Expert Express and I know that there is a um, Harry Potter because I have a um, train with my tree. But if there's a Tim Burton train, it would be flipping cool to run around this rug. It would be so cool. Okay, so anyways, um, I'm sure that's all you guys are done hearing all my nonsense. So the only other thing that I got tonight that you guys would even be remotely interested in, I am doing um, my Harry Potter stuff while well, my... Um, child at school is on a team each each uh hall is a different team and my kid got in hogwarts and her classroom is um gryffindor which is funny because she's gryffindor and i'm gryffindor um so and her friend that she doesn't want to be friends with anymore and they don't talk her and she's in slithering so they laugh about it they laugh about the fact that she's in slithering um their teacher reads them every morning um part of the harry potter book well they're on chapter two so because my kids are home because of covid one of them tested positive they're home um with our second time around with covid i want to catch her up with the book well i was going to the library to check out the book and i ended up thinking man if something happens to that book i gotta pay for it and i don't want to do that so I went to Walmart to buy the book, and unfortunately, they didn't have it. They're sold out. So I picked up this one, and I know it's backwards, I'm sorry, but it's a Sorcerer's Stone. I've never seen it done like this. 
Um, I'm really intrigued by the way it looks. It says you're one. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really intrigued by it. The photos, I mean, everything about it is so neat. I'm hoping it's the whole story because it's not very thick. I mean, it is tall and wide, but it's not very thick. And it doesn't tell me. I don't see the chapters. So, I don't know how long we're going to be home. So, I think I'm just going to have her start reading. And then, um, maybe she'll look at, look at this. That's Hagrid's hut. Like, look at the art in this book. See the pumpkins and everything? I mean, the artwork is so amazing. I am so impressed by this book. So, when she's done reading it, I'm going to um, put it on my uh, shelf for all of my Harry Potter stuff. But check out the um, Hogwarts Express. Really nice. I mean, the photos in here are just amazing. So, um going to have her start reading this, and then if it doesn't feel like the book the teacher's reading, then I'll just go ahead and go to the library and check it out. Which I may go ahead and go to the library and check it out anyways. Oh, I don't know. Because it really wouldn't be fair if I got the audiobook. But we watch the movies all the time, and I know that the book is like way different than the movie. But anyways, um, could you guys like go into the comments and tell me, is this the same book? As the Sorcerer's Stone. Because it says Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. It just doesn't seem thick. Like a Harry Potter book. Harry Potter books are really big. But they're normally not this big of a book. They're normally a shorter book. Anywho, just let me know. And if this is the whole story, then I'm probably going to go ahead and get the rest of these. They have two more at Walmart, but I will get this whole set because of the way it's done and then I will buy the set of the real books because when they're on the shelf they actually have the designs so long story made short that's what I had to do with that so I will show you my crafts and stuff um, whenever I finish them and I have some other videos coming up and um, so just make sure that you go on my YouTube that you like subscribe and share them with a friend if you think they'll like them and if you want to know anything about my Harry Potter tree, just ask me and I will show you my whole tree and the ornaments I made. And I'll tell you how you can get them. If I personally made them myself, I'll let you know well, how I made it and maybe do a video for you. Or maybe I can send you one. From our family to yours, God bless you. Have a great day.